Hi guys, how's it going? How are you? I always feel really, <laughs> it always feels really, really weird whenever I first come on here because I always feel like I'm so close up. So I'm gonna go back a wee bit. Hi, are you? How's your summer going? Today in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to create a little ladybug cake topper. I don't know why I'm, <laughs> why am I whispering? I have no idea. I'm going to show you how to make um, this wee one is a little bit battered because this was this is Dylan's little cake topper, but um, I thought I would show you guys how to make it. Uh, if you're watching this, this is a live video. If you're watching this, um, say hello. I'd love to know who's watching. And also, if you're watching this on the replay, I will put in the comments below when the actual tutorial starts because... I was chatting a lot and I did actually say in the last video, should I just skip the chatting and get straight into the tutorial? Hi Debbie, how are you doing? How's your summer going? I'm sorry, I'm keeping my phone on because um, before I get sidetracked, yes. Um, so the chatting, I'll chat to you a wee bit here and then I'll put in the comments when the actual tutorial starts because you all said the last time, you like to be a bit of chat at the start. So I'll put in the comments, if you're here just for the tutorial later on, I'll put, hi Nina, hi Em Darling, how are you doing? Oh, this is great, this is great. This is maybe a good time. It's only half 10 in the morning here. And I am just quick keeping an eye on my phone. Um, I'm going to, my niece is home from university at the minute, so she's coming to stay. So I have to go and pick her up from the train station. So that's why I'm keeping my phone on. I'll put it on silent, but I'll just keep a wee eye on it. But um, yeah, so that's really exciting. We always love it whenever she comes to stay. Um, I'm trying to think what else has been going on. Your summer's been going good, Debbie. Oh, that's good. Ours has been, oh, hi, Ricardo. Hi. What age is your son, Leila? Um, yeah, so our summer is now halfway through. I can't believe it. It's like, because we would get over in, in here in Ireland, we would get all of July and August off. So we're really spoiled. But now I'm thinking, oh my goodness, the summer's almost halfway through. And there's so much that I still want to do with the kids. Last week, we Brody wasn't well, and I my kids are never sick. They just never, for whatever reason, get sick. And of course, last week, the weather was great and Kirby Brody wasn't well. And now this week is better and it's raining. So I don't know, I have a few wee things left on our bucket list that I want to really try and do with the kids, but we'll see how it goes. But for today, I'm going to make this little... Oh, that's really cute. Oh, he likes watching these. Oh, that's lovely. That's so cute. Do you know, sometimes... Um, I will, it's the cutest thing, it really is. Sometimes I walk in and one of my wee ones is just sitting, especially Dylan, he's five, and he would be sitting watching my videos and it's just whenever I see him doing it, it's like, oh, it's just so cute. I don't really let them watch a lot of YouTube channels. There's a few, so they really like, um, is it Bright Side? So it's kind of like a lot of facts and riddles and different things they like but hi Ferdy how are you doing how are you, you going this is a really early time to go live but it seems like a lot of you are about so this might be the way forward even though it's half 10 in the morning and the only reason that I'm organized is because hi Nicole how's it how are you doing that's all I keep saying how are you doing how's it going that's a northern Irish thing sorry sorry about doing your head in and you're in Germany. My goodness, there's so many of us here from all over the place, isn't there? It's fascinating to me to think that there's, there's this morning you've got Germany. Um, I think, Debbie, you're in England, aren't you? Leila, where are you from? It's lovely to know where you're all watching from. And even later on, if you're watching this back, a few of you last week still came on and told me where you were watching from. And it's half seven in Melbourne. Oh, yes, that's right. You're in Australia. And Botswana, Lancashire. Oh my goodness, we've got a whole bunch of us here this morning from different places. Wow. And the weather in Australia, I'm guessing, isn't probably, it's probably, it's winter over there. I remember you saying that the last time. So I'm going to try and get stuck right in. There is a wee story behind this ladybird. So I don't know, do you call it a ladybird or a ladybug? 
because here we generally call it a ladybird. But I've seen, I think it is an American thing. I've seen Gold Coast, oh, lovely, lovely. I've seen uh, a lot of people would call them ladybugs. So I don't know, let me know in the comments below. Do you call it ladybird or ladybug or does that even make any difference? Your ladybird, De Demi, yeah. A ladybug sounds really, so much cuter though, doesn't it? So my wee man, this is like, the, so the reason that the samplers and everything are off is my wee man, I think he was about three at the time, and he came across a wee ladybird in the garden and he just loves coming across wee creatures and stuff. And he'd build them a wee house and put them inside and stuff. So it came across. I'm not even going to try and pronounce that, Nicole. Yes, that's it. So take it. You can you 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 can speak English then as well. That that's the thing about um like I found whenever we go away on holiday, everybody can speak English, but yet over here we don't really seem to learn a lot of languages, which it seems really ignorant of us over in the UK or Ireland that we don't really seem to know a lot of different languages. My other niece, she is studying Spanish and Portuguese, which I believe Portuguese is a really, really difficult language to learn. I can't really speak any languages. I don't know how I started talking about languages when I was in the middle of telling this story. So he was in the garden one day and he had found this wee ladybird and he made a wee home and everything for it. And he just loved this wee ladybird. And of course, um, and within about an hour or an hour later, the wee ladybird had taken off. And to say that he was devastated is not an understatement. He was gutted and he cried and he cried. I was thinking, oh my goodness. He was only about two, two or three at the time. So I said, well, how about mommy makes you a wee ladybird and then you get to keep it forever. So this was the wee ladybird that I made him and he just loves it. I made the mistake, he had his Beanie Boo birthday party a while ago and I made the mistake of leaving this little guy sitting out and somebody tore its antlers off. <laughs> so maybe whenever I finish doing this tutorial, I will make a new set of antlers for Dylan's little ladybug. So we'll get ahead and get started. Of course, I'm gonna get my trusty tripod here, which is my, <laughs> although it seems to work, it seems to work. I would love, this is a wee webcam, I would love to try and connect my, you know where my camera is, my proper camera up, and that way I could put out the tripod. I've no idea even how to do that, I've been doing live, so we'll just have to make it work. Hopefully you don't mind that these videos are rough and ready, but it's lovely just chatting with you and doing these lives. And I just seem to say the same thing over and over, but hopefully I will get used to doing these lives. At first, that was my chair squeaking, by the way. <laughs> At first, it seems really weird because you're like just talking to this camera. So it's always really lovely to see you all and I can see you uh, who's watching and stuff. So it's lovely that you came and joined me this morning. So maybe the earlier time is better because last week I went on at a later time. So anyway, I'm going to stop rambling. Oh my goodness. So it's now eight minutes in. So we're going to get started with the tutorial now. So let me just get this set up here. So I'm going to move this. And I actually changed my little background there because I had all my... <laughs> now I'm going to start talking again. I had all my boxes and stuff, you know, my modeling paste. And it's not the nicest background for you guys to look at. So I put out a few cake toppers. This one here is... I don't know, I'll try and see. This is a Gruffalo. He's going out in the post today. So he's sitting there drying. And all of these ones here, there's tutorials for baby guys here, my kids made. So, oh, hi. Hi, Linda from South Africa. Gosh, this is great. There's a whole gang of us here this morning. So I'm going to, um, I'm going to still be able to chat with you because I can still see my computer. So if you have any questions, as I go along here, let me know and I'll answer them as we're making this. And um, we're just gonna go ahead and get started here. I'll show you what, sorry, this is really shaky. So I'm gonna show you what I'm using to create this. So this is the wee guy here. So you're gonna need um, three colors. So I've got red fondant, black fondant, and white fondant. I've got, you'd think I would have these all laid out neatly. 
because I'm going live, but no, I <laughs> oh dear. So I've got this little shaper tool, but don't worry if you don't have any of these tools, a cocktail stick will do. I've got a Dresden tool, a little knife tool, but again, a normal regular, I don't know why this camera's was going, a normal regular knife will do. Hi Leanne from Sydney. Oh, up Ricardo. I'm glad you like the video. Ricardo, that's such a cool name, isn't it, Ricardo? And a little crafting knife. But don't worry if you don't have all these because there's always alternatives that you can use. So I am going to set you guys up here on my paper towel tripod. <laughs> right, so I'm going to try and... Okay, so there's this bit's always dodgy until I try and get set up. Okay, so... Let's get started. This is a really, oh, and I also forgot to say, a tiny little piece of wire. Don't worry though, you can always use a cocktail stick as well if you don't have a, a, any crafting wire or floristry wire. I'll also put in the description below the um, items that I'm using to create this. So if you need to catch that, you can get those down below and their Amazon links. So if you're buying anything on Amazon and you go through my affiliate links, it really does help. I'm able to get, I was able to get this webcam and stuff um, and some new lights. So it really does help my wee channel and it doesn't cost you anything. But if you use my, there's also in my channel, there's a little Amazon icon. And if, you, if you're shopping on Amazon and you go in through that icon, it just means that I get a little bit of um, credit for it, which every little bit helps, I suppose. Uh, okay, so we're going to get started here. So I'm going to take a little bit of this shortening. I don't know if you can hear that whistle. My um, little boy, they're going to like a wee holiday Bible club thing at the minute. And he won a band set last night, which is great. It's a whistle and a drum and a tambourine. And what else? What is the other thing? And they're all really noisy. Don't you just love it when they win prizes like that? So if you can hear a whistle, that is Dylan. So I'm just softening up all of this. I'm just going to give my wee um, mat a wee wipe down here. Because even no matter how much you clean these things, they always end up getting messy. I'm going to get this red stuff going here as well. Now, so you can use fondant to make this. And if you are like little Ricardo there and you're one of the younger viewers, the, these wee basic toppers are great, even for Play-Doh. Because I know as mums, it's hard sometimes, you know, especially if you have a rainy day and you're looking something to do. These basic um, tutorials are great to do with kids. I'll show you these little um, cows. I done those one day, a few, must be a couple of months ago with the kids and they loved it. And it's great because then they get to keep it too. So I am just, right. So we've got our three colors here. So we're going to start out by Rolling this into, I shouldn't have left my phone on because it's so distracting. <laughs> okay, so we're going to roll this into a ball initially. Okay, and then what we're going to do is just push that wee ball down. So it's kind of like that sort of a shape. This is so easy. It's unbelievable, but it's it's really cute. You could use this um, design for a cake or you could use it for cupcakes. So it doesn't necessarily always need to be a cake topper. So now I'm going to take this little knife tool and I'm going to, just going to look and see where the center of it is. And I'm just going to put a wee line up through the center. Okay. And then we're going to take, this is just so basic, it's unbelievable. So now we're going to take some of our black here and I'm just going to shape this into an oval shape. I don't really use colours unless I absolutely have to. So, um, I mean, you could, if you had an oval cutter, you could use an oval cutter. I just prefer to roll it out and into kind of like a sausage shape and get the shape of it that way. So I'm just pressing down to make that into a little oval shape. 
I just find it easier most of the time to do things by hand, but everybody has their own way of doing things. Now I'm going to just place that over the front of our little oval shaped red piece that we've made there. Okay, so you can see how that's looking. And it looks a bit like a ladybird or ladybug already, I think. So seeing as our hands, I hate using black. It always makes your hands really grimy. But so I'm thinking, seeing as now I've touched the black, I'm going to make the other wee uh, spots. So we will, the way I do this, again, you could use a cutter if you wanted, a circle cutter, but I'm just going to use my hands. And I'm going to roll this out into a long uh, snake shape. And if you have any questions, I doubt you will do because this is so basic, but <laughs> ask away or any general questions, ask away. Now this is a little bit, why is this there? So we're gonna cut this into little sections and then this is gonna be our circles. And I want the circles to be different sizes. So you don't want them all to be the same size. So there's a few bigger ones and a few smaller ones. So. You don't really need to be fussy with this. So we're cutting out some larger squares, some smaller ones. And then what we're gonna do is just take these and roll them into a wee ball. I'm just gonna look at what way I've done this. So this wee one, I'm gonna just place, and lift it up here so you can see. So you're just gonna start pressing those on. I'm going to take an even smaller one here. I think I might actually cut that wee square a few of those in half again. And I'm going to just place these on. And you can use water to stick these on, but I find because this we have just really started working with this, it's still quite tacky. So um, let's see, I'll just use this sort of size here. So they're going to just stick straight on. And I don't know about you, but once you start getting water on your hands, it can get very messy. So there you go. We're just going to, that's that side, press them down. And we're going to do the other side as well. So Press down. We've got loads and loads of wee ladybirds out in the garden at the minute. Oh, of a tutorial to make a Barney cake topper. Is that Barney? Um, I'm trying to think. Is that the big purple bear, Linda? So I find with YouTube, there's always probably um, there's tutorials for nearly everything. Do you know? Whenever I started out cake decorating. There was no tutorials. So I basically just played about and taught myself. There was tutorials for the like of flowers and things, not so much cake toppers. And then whenever I started doing this, it was when my kids kind of got into YouTube. They, actually, I'm going to leave out another two wee circles for the eyes. They had, it was really um, their idea. And then when I went on and discovered, hi, butterfly. Whenever I went on and discovered, um, oh my goodness, some of the creators, what they were doing, uh, I just couldn't believe because when I first started, there was nothing. And then all of a sudden there's, my favorite would be Zoe's Fancy Cakes. She's just amazing. So I am gonna give my hands just a wee, um, clean here just try and get this black off because I'm going to be using some white and I don't really want it going off onto the black struggling to find a good one oh goodness I'll have a wee look and see I've got so many um toppers on the list to create so I'll have a look and see if it's who I think if it's the Barney that I'm thinking of is it quite an old um Children's cartoon character, isn't it? Because it can be quite hard. Do you know what? My my daughter loves that annoying orange. 
<laughs> oh, so I would love to do maybe like an annoying orange cake topper at some stage just to be just for fun. Be really funny. So sorry, I'm too busy talking. So I rolled out a little circle of white fondant and I've cut it in half and we're going to just use that for the eyes. <laughs> is that the song butterfly you don't want me to sing do you trust me you do not want me to sing nobody needs to hear that so we're gonna do we're gonna place the eyes kind of far apart okay and i just hope i'm not ch chatting too much that so you can see what i'm doing my nails need done i have an appointment booked for friday and it can't come soon enough. Okay, so I'm just going to place that wee one there. So it looks symmetrical, don't it? Okay. Oh, yeah. See, I remember Barney back in the day. I would say when my nieces were growing up, Barney was really big then. That's why, yeah. Uh -huh. I loved, when I was younger, I loved Sudi, the Sudi show. Does anybody from the UK? I know Sudi came back again, but this is like the original Sudi show. Um, oh, what did you call the guy? Was it John? So there's Sudi, Sweep and Sue. That was my, oh, I just loved the Sudi show. Brings back memories. And you know, it's great because you can go on YouTube and Google or, and watch some of the really old programs that you used to watch as a kid. And it's really, I just love anything nostalgic like that. So I'm just placing the black under the eyes now. Do you remember it, Debbie? What did you call the man? Oh, what did you call the guy? Michael, was it Michael? I just can't think now, but I loved it and the wee house and everything. The kids don't know they're living now because they've, they've got everything. Um, I was showing the kids, actually, this is last week, the some of the programmes that we used to watch, like the like of the Crystal Maze. Yes, do you know, a Sweep was my favourite, um, darling. Sweep, I just loved Sweep. And our wee puppy, she kind of makes a wee noise in the morning when she sees you and she gets really excited. I would call her Sweep in the mornings because she just, like, she just starts squeaking like we Sweep. She's so cute. <laughs> All right. Yes. Oh, yes. That's right. That's right. Butterfly. Yeah. And I remember there was a, the crystal maze. So I was showing the kids um, the crystal maze that we used to watch. And they just look at you like, Mom, are you serious? Is this the type of stuff <laughs> that you were subjected to? And I'll tell you another thing. I have. I was, I, whenever I was younger, so I was born in the 80s. And whenever I was younger, so I'm just going to get a wee tiny ball for catch lights here. Um, Sega was really big. And my mom and dad had my, had my Sega, which was the first ever Sega that came out. And they brought it over here. And, you know, we plugged it in and it works. <laughs> the kids were like completely that you should have seen their faces. They were just like, are you, is this? what you used to play video games on. The graphics are awful. But you just didn't have, I mean, now at the kit, you just didn't have that type of thing then. Guy, I, I even remember the Spectrum. My brother had a Spectrum. Like that's really going back. Commodore as well. And now the kids, and you just you used to have to plug in, you used to put a wee tape in and then you used to have to go away for half an hour and wait for your tape to download onto it and now the kids that they, they could just stream online or you know just plug their game in and they're good to go oh the good old days the good old days so now we're going to give this little matthew corbett that's right that's right matthew corbett oh, i loved it i wonder if he's still about i wonder if he's still around but yeah you can see some of the um because the kids do love to see you know stuff from my childhood so uh, they've seen the city show Rainbow as well. I'm sure I'm probably losing anybody um, from that aren't from the UK. But was it the Rainbow show or Rainbows? And there was Zippy, Bungle, and was it George? What was the deal with George? I mean, 
he was well before his time, wasn't he? So I'm going to create a wee smile using this little tool here. Zippy, oh my goodness, Zippy. Zippy was hilarious. <laughs> Just never stopped talking. So I'm going to create a wee smile using this little tool here. I don't know what you call it. So hope you can see. So he's a happy wee ladybug now. And so all we're going to do now is create some little antlers. So I've been chatting there. <laughs> he looks a wee bit cross-eyed, doesn't he? Because I've been chatting. But anyway, um, so to create antlers, we're just going to take a wee piece of this black fondant here and maybe take a, a slightly bigger piece. Oh, thanks, Leila. I kind of thought, are you are you guys going to be like, are you serious? This is really basic. But um, needs must, like I say, my niece will be coming off the train soon and I need to go and get her. So I kind of thought I'm just going to have to do something really quick and simple with you. So I'm glad that it's not too basic. And if you do prefer the easier tutorials, let me know. I can always make some other kind of little bug. What other wee bug could I do? Um, I could do a wee bee, or it has to be cute because, <laughs> oh, thank you, butterfly. Um, I don't like spiders. <laughs> I had to, our um, doorbell, I hope you can see what I'm doing, our doorbell, something funny went with it yesterday and it just kept dinging even though no one was there. I had to go out to the electric box and try and turn it off with the fuse, and there was two huge spiders in the electric box and I hate spiders and I had to kind of shimmy them out of the way to get oh even the thought of it my daughter she was standing telling me mommy they're really hairy they're really hairy I was traumatized so you're going to just roll a wee bit of this black fondant out into a long skinny shape and then we're going to take this top part of it I hope you can see what I'm doing here and just curl it down so it's like that Okay, yeah, it's nice to have some simple options. A lot of tutorials these days are very complex. That's really good to know, Leila, because you know you don't know how long people are doing things for and if something's too basic. But I think people forget that there's always beginners and this type of thing is just perfect for a beginner, really. Um, like if you're starting out, the very first cake topper I ever made was a wee bee and I still have it somewhere, which is really ironic considering this is Happy Bee Cakes. And I just thought I was just so proud of it. And again, it was so simple. So I think sometimes if you start out and you're trying to take on too much, then you can be disappointed. So I'll do some more simple ones if you have any ideas as to what other tutorials you would like. I have a teddy to do for a lady um, tomorrow or towards the end of the week. So I'll maybe pop on on Friday and record it if I'm going to be making it anyway. It's going to be super easy too. So you can see what I've done here. I've made this kind of little shape um, for the antlers. And now I'm going to take our um, little wire. I'm just going to cut it in half. Do you hear that whistle? This is... <laughs> Oh my goodness, please. Who thinks that is a good prize? Please tell me. Who thinks a whistle and a banjo and a tambourine is a good prize for a five year old? It's like they're punishing the parents. Yes, Debbie, oh, you're whip it. Yeah, oh, you're wee whip it. Did, you did make him though, didn't you? Because he was gorgeous. I love whippets, they've got the cutest little face. I know, I'm going to actually do, I think I'll do a series of dogs, you know, because um, I'm dying to make a chihuahua. So we'll get a whip it, we'll get a wee whip it on there at some stage too. It's really hard. Um, yes, you did. Because I remember seeing that on Instagram. Love what you're doing. Um, is it cakes for, what is it, Debbie, you're doing? I can't think. Um, is it cakes for charity or something like that? Or... I've seen the other day you had a really good creation I'm just so bad at social media I'm not one of these people that really enjoy it as quite an effort for baking for therapy yes so if any of you're on Instagram pop over and say hi to Debbie um she's got some really really lovely creations over there 
And don't forget to say hello to me too. Happy bee cakes. <laughs> so I've made these wee antlers. Now, rather than me trying to squash these on while they're, they're drying, I'm going to leave them and let them dry a little bit. And then once they're dry, all you're going to do is just push them on top here. I do my daughter's birthday today and I bought that. Carmi makes lots of noises and dances. It's like I get revenge. Karma, yes, karma will come back. <laughs> That's the good thing about karma. My wee boy uh, plays the drums. This is my eldest. Um, it was his birthday there and he bought his very first guitar. So he's playing guitar, the drums, piano. And Holly plays the flute. And Dylan just, he likes to rock it out on the drums as well. So it's very noisy here. And I just hope, when they have kids, that they're going to be into all these instruments as well. I must actually, I made Brody's cake topper and oh, I really loved it. I was really happy with it. So I've got footage of it and I must try and make it into a tutorial, but it'll probably be September when the kids are back at school. Um, yeah, because, you know, whenever you're creating a video and you're recording it and you're editing it, it is really quite time consuming. So these lives just seem to be really good because I can pop on, say hello, give you a wee tutorial and then run over and pick up my niece from the train station and get on with my day rather than, it's one thing when the kids are at school, I can't, I have the time, but when they're all off, I don't really have the time to be sitting editing. It does, I'm <laughs> like a, a future band in the making. Yeah, well, they do like to think that they're a band, and a few of their wee friends, they they all they all have a band going. Um, so they've got a drummer, they've got a guitar person. Holly plays the flute. The other wee friends are great wee singers. They take singing lessons. So we've got a full we have we do have a full band going on between <laughs> between them and their other wee friends. You never know. You never know. So I'm, I'll, I'll see if this is kind of, yeah, it seems like it's okay. So I'll pop this on here. I'm going to just trim it a little bit. And I will pop this on. And guys, thanks for the feedback last week because I wasn't too sure. Do you know whether I should just cut out the chat and just get on with it? And... You guys made me feel so much better because it is nice to have a wee chat. And whenever I'm recording the videos and I'm doing the voiceover, I do find it really hard to just say, you know, and not chat in between. So maybe the lives can be my chatting outlet and then the actual other videos can be where I just get on with it. <laughs> so if you don't like the chat, maybe miss the lives. Just skip. <laughs> Yes, Linda, I'm going to have to head on now too. So have a good day. Yes, thank you for popping in and saying hello. It's lovely to see you. So here we have our finished article. And this is why you don't put it on while it's wet. I'm going to push that down again here. There. So this, now that's a wee bit wonky. So we're just going to take this Dresden tool and straighten it out a wee bit. But ideally, I would have left those longer and then when they're dried out a wee bit, pop them on rather than squishing them on. But it is just so that you can get an idea. So there is our little, I'll try and lift this camera here so you can see, get a better view. So there's our little ladybug um, friend. <laughs> um, thank you for popping on everybody and saying hello. And like I say, if you're in the comments later on, say hi, because I'm always about. And I love to get chatting with you down there. Thank you, everybody, for popping in. Thanks, Leela. And it was so lovely to see you all. Thanks, Debbie and Butterfly and all you guys that were, were here. It was so lovely chatting with you all. Nicole, um, yes, it would. You know, we should maybe do a wee series, shouldn't it? Um, you're saying it would be nice with a few more wee creatures. So maybe think of, a few. Oh, oh, I've just thought of one, like a wee bookworm. That would be so cool. A wee bookworm or something, like a cute wee worm. So keep an eye out for that. Maybe I'll do that next week. Let me know if there's anything you want me to do next week and I will be back then. And darling, thank you everybody for popping on. Let's see if I...
this back here. No, it's not. Oh, there we go. There we go. Um, thank you for hanging out with me. It was so lovely to get to with so many of you this week. And it's lovely to get your feedback that you like the simple caterpillar. Yes, oh, caterpillar, yes, that would be really cute. Because you're giving me so many good ideas here. Yes, um, so I must create a wee list of these wee bugs, these wee bug cake toppers. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Um, and I will see you possibly on Friday if I get a chance I'll nip on and make this wee teddy bear with you and if not it'll be next week. Thank you for hanging out with me and I will see you next week. I'm still chatting. <laughs> bye, bye bye.